There we go. Jesus. Uh, nighttime? <gasps> there you are. Do you have any news? Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all. I take it you're ready to learn. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Bombarda? What the fuck this is that? This spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Aquarius, is, is this an appropriate spell for students? What the fuck? I will, Professor. I will hold you to I? that promise. A pussy? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Oh, what is that? Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Okay. Oh, another fire one. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. <laughs> it looks so badass. Yeah, I found my new weapon. Um, let's remove the flame one to for this one. Perfect. Oh my god, that looks so nice, man. One more time. Bombarda. Excellent. <sighs> you have it well in hand. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. Now let's go. I think um, we could talk to this dude. Oh, Jesus. Before we do that, let's, you know, make sure we got all this crap. Okay, that's full. Let's equip that. There we go. Okay. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Yeah, I haven't even seen Deke it. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself oh. before Tobbs found him. That's what happened. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. 
And now yourself. Oh. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, honestly, we might have to, you know, uh, let some people go. <laughs> Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Okay. Do that one. Special limits reach. Saw beast. Oh, we have. Oh, that's why. Okay, so what are we doing now? I think the last thing we did is we had to... Uh, oh, attend a class, say less. Where is it? Right there? Oh my god, I forgot to change the thing. How nice to see you, my young friend. I heard Professor Hello, Weasley transfigured. So has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out mostly. quick enough. <laughs> you don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Did I tell you I've been in touch with the Ministry about the artifact? Don't care. Oh, first time we've seen them in a class of men. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, oh. you all know what to do. Wait, what? Transformation. <gasps> Beautifully done. The Spellmaster. What does that mean? 24% of people have unlocked it. Learn all spells. Oh, shit. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Uh, the summons have held, despite spending so much time on the assignments. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. Yeah, they definitely As I suspected, they have helped a lot. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Mm. Were your 
meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Jesus, dear, why is she on my dick? Not at all. I was uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. Hey, don't you finesse I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Jesus, dude. Chance accepted. Oh, might as well use the, the new shit. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? What? Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. I'll say less. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook? <laughs> what? Now, how did it fail? Come on, dude. W capper, W capper. All right, let's see. Oh my god, I forgot it was snowing. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I really want to do Sebastian's quest because, you know, he's the one that has the, the crazy shit. Yeah, let's go to that one. Off on another adventure, are we? Ah, there you are. Let's go! I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. What say we pick up the pace a bit? Skadoosh! Slow down now. There we go. Hey, man. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. <laughs> Where are you? Right in front of you. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby. Surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Uh, perhaps we can avoid detection and we deal blows. Exactly, come on. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some Exactly, enemies. come on. Very dude. well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Say less. No point of sneaking around. Come on, dude. Where do you think I am? There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Um. 
Let's use that one. That one. Fetch! Jesus. You can't stop us. This is going well. We make a good team. Oh man. We do at that. Once again. Through or be discreet. Jesus. Oh, it... Fun is over. Oh. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Oh, so it goes through them. Multiple. I didn't know that. Easy. Closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Oh, maybe I could hit that from here. Oh no, I can't. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. So that thing's right there. Oh shit! Any ideas? Revenia. Spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fang, or any number of endearing qualities, okay. really. Rebellion. 
Revenia. Wait, what's over here? Oh, look, look. Need my loot. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. There's so many spiders everywhere. Oh, it's down there. <gasps> what happened? Come on, just that? <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Another spider. I shall sleep there tonight. Revelio. Okay. Well, we're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Let's make sure we get everything before, you know? Oh, oh my god. Oh, the big chest. So it must be over here. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from ruins for a moment. An unwelcome distraction of that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? I'll say less.
There it is, there it is. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so she cleared the room. Don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. Exactly, dude. <laughs> What the fuck? Now, uh, we can have a look around in peace. Confringo. Oh. Uh, sounds good. A okay. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Confringo. Fuck! 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 Damn it! Oh my god. Wasn't expecting that. Gotta get my loot. All right, let's go. What do you have there? A journal. Sebastian, I think I found Hopefully something. Hopefully it will help us unravel more piece. of this mystery. Brilliant. Our efforts Revenue. weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Whoa, what is that? Triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, Revenue. to be sure. What about this? Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Yeah, right here. <laughs> I found it. Way ahead of you. And now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Say less, man. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You <laughs> know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening oh, to me. Oh, man. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? What the fuck? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't oh, know man. when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Oh, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Where's it? 
Jesus, dude. What I do? Fucking explode on me, man. All right, let's see. Me, Sebastian, at the catacombs. <gasps> Another spell. I'll say less. Straight there. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You're here. Good. Hey, man, you still mad? Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. Oh. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. This explorer, was there anything else in the students report? I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit town when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. <laughs> Knowing him, Omnibus is going to be right behind us. Find the relic. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the team is set free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Jesus, dude. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. And you would be wrong, dude. Finding a chest. Conspicuous loft. Brilliant. Rebellion. All right, let's go. She'll sleep better tonight. Oh my god, I already forgot. Watch your step. I need to slip there. <laughs> All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that under the expansion efforts ran into problems, often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. You sure, man? Yeah. Okay, it must be over here, right? Revenia. Now this is the sort of thing I want to be buried in. 
Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Lovely. Runs outside of some things. Seems odd. Where'd that spider go? Oh, right there. Sucks for you, buddy. Oh. oh. There we go. And then this one. over here though Accio. we're in a tomb i assume eerie sounds come with the territory Hey, there it is. But what's over here? We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Whoa. What is this? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I see it. Where would these go? Like what? There it is, Jesus. Complete. 
Oh, this area. Oh, great. Let's delete that. Anything green must go. Got that. Definitely delete that. Okay. There we go. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look <clears> around <throat> and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Way ahead of you. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Revelio. Yep, I fixed it. Let's go. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. Also. The student's diary mentions the Imperius curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Of course, give it to me. I prefer not to learn it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Say less, I got it. Easy. Go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. <laughs> okay, let's switch this one. Whoa. Wait, what does it even do? Is it like I'm controlling them? Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be sick. How gracious of you. I try. Well, man. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Oh. Uh. What to do? Oh, okay, okay. That works. Keep going. So pretty much each door just get the, the symbols. Okay. The yin and yang. Rebellion. 
circle and Tetris. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Okay. And then triangle. student was so entranced with this place. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up. Yet. Jesus Christ, dude. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. Someone's gonna die. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. Uh, I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. I feel like he's gonna die. Ominous. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Ominous. I knew it. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. But Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Jesus. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Hmm. That's kind of hard. Because I feel like someone's going to die if we use it. Okay, I'm going to stick with Sebastian. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. 
How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? Never mind. That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it, Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Oh. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperial. What the fuck? Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperial. It was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we need to go. Jesus. Again, Jesus, dude. Okay, any greens? Okay, we'll do this one. Hopefully Ominous doesn't die in there. The wrong thing. You need the relic. I know. But not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I went the wrong way. Fuck. Uh, 
Okay, how... <laughs> no, I came from there. There we go. Let's see what's gonna happen. How long would the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb, just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. <laughs> I mean, he's blind. Return to Felcraft. Croft. Yo, is there any merchants over there? What the fuck? Why is there smoke? Uh-oh. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no. This isn't good. What is it? Smoke. Over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Hmm, five times they lose. Amen. <laughs> Stay back. Keep out the way. This way, we to go. What the fuck? Why are they after her? Boy, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> what have you done? Saved my sister. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> What did my uncle expect me to do? 
the Imperius curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. That is true. May have been the wrong choice. What? No. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Oh man. Jesus, dude. Yeah, that dude's definitely not gonna listen to me. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. Oh, brother. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curse. <laughs> oh, my God. For a reason. If I hear that either of you <sighs> continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster oh immediately. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. Why, Sebastian? <laughs> You're such a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh my right god. You just heard the new Suicide Boys songs? I saw it was uploaded uh, a few minutes ago. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do that t uh, tomorrow. It's not too much like a uh, focus on like the Harry Potter, like the movies and all that. It's like its own different thing. It's just in the world of uh, the movies and all that. Right, let's see what they want. What the fuck is this? Oh, I do hope Mary and Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet, just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask, are you afraid of spiders? I'm terrified of spiders. Spiders don't bother me. In game, they don't, don't really bother, bother me, but real You'd life, impressed by how many I've dispatched the big lately. ones. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, <laughs> which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? I got it. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron Shaw southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Okay. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. 
and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behaviour. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, <clears throat> seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Oh, man. You don't need to know about that. Ah, eh, fuck it. Rookwood is working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay. Um, this is, uh, you know... This is a mission. This is a main mission first. Uh, it's all Gobble. Uh, Log Logog has asked me to meet him at the Goblin Mine south of Hogwarts and asked that I bring someone who speeds. Okay. Oh, this day in. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serena's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serena trusts him, then I feel much better. Lord Gok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Ooh. Rebellion. Okay, so where are we going now? Jesus Christ. They gotta explore you so I don't <laughs> not to waste time. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. <laughs> A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Ertgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving Oh, so he knows. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. 
What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Oh man, that's Thus, crazy. Many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak Oh, he's in Ravenclaw. Gok. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. <laughs> I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation <laughs> is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye of oh, the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Or me tonight can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Fuck. Well, this one's gonna be annoying. Okay, let's do that, do that, and then do that. Revenia. The oh. door is looking at us. You'll see. Oh, that's like oh okay, that's the first time I've ever seen that before. <laughs> Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Hey man, from what I hear, Ravenclaw, they have the shortest uh, side missions. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Compared to like uh, the other areas. Wait, what's over here though? I've read about mines like this, but see and something else altogether. Oh. Oh. Revenia. <laughs> we need to be careful, as I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least. 
What? Where are those plans gone? I had schematics in my hand a moment ago. <laughs> Huh. Now, what am I supposed to do? Ranrock is sure to appreciate oh. the extra work we're doing. Oh, they killed him? Where are those plans gone? <laughs> in my hand a month ago. Oh. This is where oh. Time fire. to enjoy the show. No! Oh, I will make you. Now, how would I be able to go up there? I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Oh, man, chill. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plants. Bound to be plants around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Revelia. Uh, maybe up here? Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. What the fuck? Okay, I think we just Went in a circle. Uh, maybe over here.
if I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? Oh. Yes, of course. You know what? Yellow. Chiller decorations. Oh, right here. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Rebellion. Okay, so what else are we looking for? They've been up there. Oh, right there. Oh, my God. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh, 
my god, here we go. Anything I'm missing here before I move on? No. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Revelia. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. Oh my god, there we go. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. <gasps> Oh my god, so corny. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. What happened? Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled. Oh, he fell in love. And asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange oh, symbol on it. Um. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. Big's wife. She wanted to work together. 
Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. Oh, no. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Faster! I hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. Yo, we're back. We're back. Let's, uh, let's talk to Sebastian. What is going on? There we go. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. Oh. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. Oh shit, I missed that. that. Curse, what the fuck? I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. Very well, let me know what you find, what crest are you sending to Anne, okay. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. <laughs> Whoa, I'll send man. you an owl when I have news. Oh man. Get off tip, man. Okay, let's um let's play the game, man. What? Oh, the map of chambers. Okay. I was about to say, where the fuck is that? I kind of forgot where map of chambers or how it even looks like. 
。Oh, the 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 portrait is the art is. 哎，门。Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, <sighs> most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. I think we're almost done with the game. Fortunately, the next shrine is fairly nearby. Probably like sixty、It's、or seventy percent in. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you.、Mm. Is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Yeah, I thought like、uh, the headmaster was、How、going to be. How can I get access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. I thought he was going to be like more involved with the game. Off on another adventure. Oh. All I've really seen him was the beginning, and then、um, just people have been talking about him. You know, yeah, you know, it's a、uh, fuck. <laughs> It would have been cool. I mean, I I like the actor. I think it was called like Shaun of the Dead or Hot Fuzz. All right, let's see what. Can I do the、uh, speed check? Oh no, I can't. Open up. Mr. Fig, oh man, oh man. Oh, it was nighttime. Oh, <laughs> Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam. They encountered、mm -hmm. each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock, I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone.、Mm. I want to hear more of this, and in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. Uh oh. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Yo, my jersey looks so fucking badass. All right, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope. But I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing—a Polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Oh.、Wait. Doesn't Polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into, and take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip、mm. to the ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up, and I shall explain more. Hmm. Has he been using it all this time? Why does he even have it? Ah.、Hmm. Suspicious, man. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? There he Convincing. is. Convincing. 
I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank okay. you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster. I'm on to you. I've had a cut over. Yeah, the, the the flags. There's a shitload of flags coming out from uh, figs. Like uh, my character said, it takes yeah. ages to. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I. Oh, I um. Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I. Mm -hmm. Well, I. I did. I did. Yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I would decide what's best. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. <laughs> what I the brew fuck? the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Jesus. <laughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. What is Sebastian doing here? Greetings. I mean, what out of fuck? my way, children. Hey, yo. Can I... You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. What could the headmaster want? Let's talk to you. Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> Yo, why are you... Why is he following me, man? Where's Sebastian? Is that him? Well, there's one for my diary. Oh, man. Sussy. Ah. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course. Professor Black. Oh, I'm not. Right, I'm not. Yes. What the fuck? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. <laughs> I, I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Oh, that was awkward as hell. <laughs> Ooh, something. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Professor, a word? Oh. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. Oh. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. Oh. And they're fine. 
fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What nonsense! That you would trivialize Mud the blood. health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game. Oh. I, you are quite impossible sometimes, sir. Tell him. Tell him. Good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Oh man, you're acting like a snitch, man. Please do be a, that would be unwise. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Cause Black, I mean, we, we really don't have a, re a relationship with him. Please do, that would be unwise. Ah, fuck it. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I, good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Oh, say something, say something. Oh, Madam Kagawa. Oh, my God. I can't what use... What do we do to deserve him as a headmaster? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> say it again. Oh, Madam Kagawa. Oh, my God. I can't use my spells. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Hey, yo. Hey, guys. Anyways. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Hey, Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting Broom. surprise. As fucked it's up. Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? <laughs> Something seems a little off with the head. Oh, man. On my dick for what, dude? Jesus. What the fuck? What is that, Luigi? Mouth open. Where are your manners? Oh. There it is. <laughs> the Luigi noise. Professor, a word, please. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? Oh, man. I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. He's handling secret minister matters and I don't miss him? You know, Fig, he, he's becoming very, he's becoming very suspicious to me. Um, so, you know, he's handling secret ministry matters. I don't think that's the way. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle. Oh, supposedly man. on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. Jesus. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, <laughs> thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Say something. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand. <laughs> Yo, everyone is talking behind. I to give Professor Fig some breathing room. This man's ah. Ah. back. Ooh. Oh, am I going to talk to him? Harder worker as any house elf. Yo. Can't believe Professor Black actually did that to him. That's crazy. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. 
Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. You dare question me? I changed my mind. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Oh. Of course. I, uh... Set up. Master does remember it. Oh, come on. It's to do with strength. It's to do with my family's reign. It's to do with purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Toujours pure. Well, there is another matter, Scrope. <laughs> I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Uh. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ahem! Attention, <laughs> students! <laughs> I hereby decree oh, that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking e. no questions at this time. Yeah, Slytherin! Let's go! Right, let's go before before we get uh figured out. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, made it just in time. It's wearing off.